Fix signs. Wish popping. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time you're on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, all right? So if cussing does not work for you, now is your damn chance to find another beautiful reader on YouTube who may resonate with you a bit better, all right? Um, if you need a personal reading, you guys, because this is simply general, um, you may find that information uh, in the description below. Currently, I'm only taking emergency readings up until February, uh, possibly the 5th or the 6th. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But I will be back ASAP to get your February generals up and going, okay? You guys, I have been on vacation. Well, a partial vacation because I've still been doing emergency readings. But you get the damn drift, all right? This will be for my Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus in that order. If someone will be so kind to uh, please timestamp for me below, I would truly appreciate it. I had actually done you guys this video the same night that I did the Cardinals. However, when I went back and I looked it over, y'all, I'm a perfectionist. I'm an Aries. I ain't like it. So I was going to do it um, the day after, but as I got to meditate on the spirit said, wait. Now, y'all know I don't do weeklies, but apparently this is going to be a weekly uh, as we go into February. Some of these energies, you know, time is definitely fluid. It is going to um, kind of resonate for some people. It may be going on now. It may be past. All right. But this is going to be a post lunar eclipse in Leo video for my fixed signs. Right. I had to dig in to see what's T. All righty. So we're going to crank up with Aquarius. This is not just a regular reading, you guys. So um, it's not going to be super long. I am going to be starting your generals in about two days because the anniversary of our channel family we make a year in this thing january the 26th i'm very 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 excited i'm so grateful for you all thank you so much y'all for sticking with me and just really 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 showing me your love and support as i have evolved things have changed very very much so and as we go into how we gonna do these generals um going 2019 a lot of things are going to change but you guys it's all about um evolving and really 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 growing what's the fucking point in trying to go through all of this to stay the same think about it all right so let's rock all right so we're gonna start with aquarius 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 y'all showed y'all ass um for those january um those january generals y'all thank you y'all had all the love all the comments y'all love my comments to my new subscribers welcome to the family y'all we are dysfunctional we don't fight and fuss we leave that shit on other people's channel but we do love one another we cuss all right we definitely share we grow we evolve we love one another we one big happy family and i would just want i want to say just thank you <laughs> welcome you know and you guys y'all we're gonna get it popping this year you understand so let's get it all right, so Aquarius, we're going to start off with you guys' this, um, Archangel message. Your message comes from Archangel Haniel. It's a big glare in this in the light that I'm using, y'all. I apologize. I'm working on all of my damn equipment now. I finally moved, got that part together, so now I can actually focus on um, my equipment, y'all. And thank you for everybody who do donate because it has went to cards. It has gone to actual keyboards because, y'all, I started from the bottom with my phone. Do you understand? Now I have a computer. So thank you, guys, and I'm still trying to upgrade my audio. It's a process. It's just little old me, okay? So let's rock. So you guys have... Archangel Haniel, sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Under yourself and your feelings, okay? So, a lot of you guys, your spirit animal for this month possibly may be white doves, white pelicans. Uh, some of you all may also have some sort of um, archangel encounters. Thank you, spirit. Some of you all may also have, um, some of y'all who deal with fairies, this is definitely a time to be in nature. And there is something, um, there is something about pink flowers. All right, y'all comment below and let me know because I'm definitely seeing that strongly. I also got some intuitive messages for you guys, Aquarius. All right, with the intuitive messages, y'all take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. Um, this was new. Okay. Um, as I uh, as I read, I'm sorry, as I meditated on your energy tonight, I got peace, love, light with the word passage. So that's confirmation to someone. I heard my angel said that it's confirmation to someone's prayers. Peace, love, light. And it's the passage. Okay. It's a passage to, it's something, it, it has to do with some type of synchronicity to your particular passage, whatever, whichever Aquarian that it, that's for. Okay. I also got just trust, new love, releasing, engagement, truth, evolving. 
ego death, rectification, big gains, renewal, tears of joy, birth, forgiveness. Okay, so Aquarius, whoo, this this lunar eclipse energy, um, definitely that lunar eclipse body in a lot of positive energies for you all. Definitely a time to heal. Definitely a time for forgiveness. I do see you guys kind of being internally conflicted um, towards how to pre uh, how to present conversations and kind of how to be really receptive to new people. Some of you guys are really, really, really kind of getting out there during this time. I'm seeing some of you guys are really focusing on what it is that you're passionate about, your life purpose that I'm hearing for some of you all. Some of you guys, it's really about authenticity. This this lunar eclipse energy definitely bought an energy of, I don't give a fuck who fuck with me like that. I'm going to fuck with myself because I've learned how to be my own star player. I've learned how to have my own back. And if 2018 coming into this year didn't teach you guys anything, it was definitely how to be self-sufficient. Even in times where you really didn't know which way was left and which way was right, you had to learn. But you've learned to fucking look that damn monster up under your bed in the face and tell him I ain't scared no more. So because you have put that fear aside, now it's time for you to be true to your path. Some of you all are healers, okay? I definitely feel like you're really needing to trust your dreams during this time. Your dreams are very real. Uh, your, dream, your dreams are going to be very revealing. You guys are very sensitive. Some of you all are honing um, new abilities. I'm hearing clear audience, clear sentience. And this is for my newer empaths, okay? Um, the, the key is to not fear it, but to hone it. And I'm hearing that you all need to get out in nature. And I know it sounds crazy, but Mocha hugs trees. Go hug a damn tree, okay? Good for the soul. Hug a damn tree. Oldest damn thing in history. Only things that besides the grass that sit underneath the sit underneath both the moon and the sun. So it get, it has that energy, that solar energy of the sun. All right. And in hugging it and actually being rooted with the tree, no matter what the hell pops off, that tree shall not be moved. Deeply rooted. Do you understand? That's why they live to be older than us. We can learn something from them. Definitely about energy. Some of you all, if you choose to be true to yourself, be true to yourself, be true to your passions during this time and use this Leo energy as far as the movement, passions, creativity. Okay, for some of you all, um, really, really, really just kind of buckling down and literally quieting the noise in your external environment to truly focus on what it is that you have been trying to manifest. For some of you all, it's your own business and it damn sure looks good, Empress. For those of you who have been trying to, um, some of y'all have been trying to connect to, connect to a new love partner, I feel. For some of you guys, this could be, um, some of y'all, this could be another Aquarian. This could also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see Pisces. I see Libra. I see Taurus. I see Aries, Leo, Sag. If you're dealing with a fire sign, this person can be younger or possibly younger with an action. But there's a need for someone to truly be honest and be willing to be vulnerable in order for you guys to get what it is that you want to create off the ground. During this time, some of y'all have been looking for somebody to settle down. Then someone came in. And caught your ass off guard and during this lunar eclipse, you're going to see more so movement. For those of you who have been just sitting on your damn ideas, sitting on it, sitting on it, sitting on it, Spirit says, just do it, okay? Let me see. Spirit says, just trust, okay? I'm hearing just do it, but I, I got intuitively just trust. Just trust the process, okay? You are evolving. There's a depth to the ego. That ego telling you, okay, well, nah, you can't do that. You can't do this. Well, look at look at Wanda's damn life. Well, shit, Wanda, Wanda ain't going to tell you about who the fuck. Let's just be real, y'all. Okay, because some of us are okay with being accountable for our actions, for our wins, as well as our, as well as our L's. But everybody is not. How many people you see on social media saying, I started my own damn business and I took an L? Nobody going to tell you that part, but does it, is it to take away from the fact that it happened? Hell no. Let's just be real with ourselves. But fuck what Wanda got going on. What do you want, Aquarius? Because Spirit's saying you can have whatever you like. But now it's time for you to actually move on it. So the outcome here, I feel that whether it's love, you guys are going to be receiving truths. Some of you guys have a telepathic connection to somebody, and I feel like with well, this person is not willing to be vulnerable and say during this time here on the surface, you guys are getting messages within your dreams. This could be from a twin flame, as well as I'm hearing karmics for some of you all, but it is giving you the giving you that clarity that you need due to the ego 
um, being kind of a blockage to either you or this relationship or this person. Um, you guys are going to be getting what you need telepathically for some of you all, um, clairaudiently, so that you can actually have that peace in order for you to move forward. Really trust yourself, trust the process, and it, it looks good. Definitely, if this has to do with the financial front, you just got to make that move. Manifesting is doing. Make that move. Have those conversations. Don't be afraid to get out there and make those connections. Jump off the cliff, Aquarius. It's time to win. You got it, baby. All right. So that's what I have for an Aquarian. Um, between the 21st and the 26th of January. All right. Or I feel this. I'm, we're going to say the 1st of February because we're going to say going into February. I'm here in the 26th, but again, time is fluid. But I definitely feel like for you all, as well as for Leo, really for all you big signs, this energy is definitely taking you into February 2019. All right. So let's get it. That's what I got for my Aqua Babies. Let's rock. La 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 Leo. Come on, baby. All right, Aquarius. Sorry, I'm trying to get everything structured, y'all, because y'all know I got ADD. Shit be in the way, and I'd be like, oh, well, what was I at? <laughs> All right. So for my la 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 Leos, I'm going to start with your angel message. What you guys got was spiritual understanding. Some of you all may be practicing alchemy during this time. Some of you guys could also... um having a spiritual animal of a white dove. Some of y'all could also have a twin flame that's an Aquarius. All right. What you guys, you guys' messages comes from Archangel Raziel. It says, I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Leo, I strongly feel this has to do with your past, your life path, your life purpose. Your soul is speaking to you right now, baby, and, and kicking in in full force. What am I here for? Where do I belong? What am I passionate about? What legacy do I want to leave for my children? What is it that God calls me to do? What is it that the universe needs me to move towards? How is it that I can touch others? How is it that I can spread my love and my light and share my gifts without this fear of judgment? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Alchemy is alchemy is occurring. As above, so below. All right? So let's rock. Same thing with Leo. Let's get into these intuitive messages for you all. For Leo, I got divine help. Blockage. Removed. Oh, blockage removed. I'm sorry. Fear of unknown. Your truth. Prosperity. Travel. I got just do it. The spirits say like Nike, baby. <laughs> Um, walking away, creativity, final straw, fate, puzzle pieces, termination. All right. So some of you all during this time may be leaving jobs to focus on your passions, focus on what it is that you're trying to create and really ultimately really have the faith of a mustard seed, baby. Good shit, Leo. All right. A lot of you all during this time possibly could be walking away from relationships, walking away from old patterns, as old patterns having to do with relationships. I feel like if you're dealing with um, water sign, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong emphasis on the Scorpio, some of y'all could be walking away from a relationship. And this could definitely has to do with some form of a transformation for some of y'all. It's having to do with the job. Well, you know damn well you've been really having that feeling of stuck that stuck stagnant and you find yourself at your job, you're at your job really get paid for these people time to be in your damn head 90% of the time that you're there because the only thing that you could think about is how that job, how that place is really not true to your ultimate being. Okay, to who spirit calls you to be as an individual. And I definitely feel like some of you all during this time are really focused on you know, the game plan, where I see myself in five years, who do I see in my world, okay, who is worth the efforts and who the fuck is not. Some of y'all could definitely be walking away from a soulmate during this time, especially if this person is a Scorpio person. This person could also be Capricorn towards Virgo. But some of you all are um, walking away from somebody and as soon as you do, you're going to be starting something new. Some of y'all could also be walking away from some of y'all during this time. I feel like Leo... 
for some of you all, you're really overextending because you know that this person is a soulmate. But I feel like your dreams and some of you guys may be having visits from your ancestors in your dreams during this time to assist you on how to move on your matters. This lunar eclipse energy, since it is having to do... Um, since the lunar eclipse was and after that uh, full moon in Leo, it's having to do with fast movement. It's having to do with creativity, your passions. It's having to do with shit that ultimately fulfills you and not, not fulfills you. And I'm not going to say necessarily be selfish, but slightly, yeah. You get what I'm saying? You have to, like I told Aquarius, quiet down that outside damn noise and truly allow yourself that time, that time that R and R to truly listen to your heart. If you're gonna pray, at least allow time to listen to what spirit has to say back. This is not a time to sit on, well, maybe that's not gonna work for me. Well, maybe it will. Hell, it it, it is gonna work for you, Leo. Some of you guys are gonna choose to actually branch out and, uh, and move towards um Actually expanding. If you already own the business, I do see some form of collaborative collaborative expansion. And for those of you who have been a bit nervous about working with other people, because most Leos do y'all best shit by yourself. But y'all also are able to compromise as well as be um, y'all very open minded to work with other people in collaborative efforts. But I feel like some of y'all could be having a could be trying to go into business with an earth sign, especially if this person is a soulmate. Maybe you don't want to mix business and love. Spirit is saying here, it's safe for some of you all. If you and this person is it's kind of rocky when it comes to a relationship, don't go and mix your money and your assets with a in with, with a person who's gonna be a liability later. Okay? That was for a few people I'm hearing. But for some of you all, in order to have this new start, in order to have this new beginning, in order for this to be a blessed a blessed union, some of you guys have to definitely ensure that what it is that you're putting your work in, whether it's a person, place, a thing that is willing to actually be willing to work with you. Do you understand? Don't put your work into shit and you don't see any growth from it. Don't put, don't, would you continuously go buy the same damn product if it don't fucking work? I mean, think about it, Leo. You ain't gonna, you don't beat a damn dead horse trying to make that motherfucker move. You can only take it to the water. You can't make it drink. If it goes to the damn water and just look at it and falls the hell out, out of damn dehydration, why are you feeling bad for that? You did. That's not your part. You did your part. Let these people who come into your life do their part. Because some of y'all are getting rid of somebody who didn't know they fucking lines. They couldn't get right, so their ass got to get left. And that is totally fine because guess what? After walking away from that, real soon, you're not even going to see it. Because you're going to be so busy working on yourself, working on healing, working on progressing, working on your dreams, working on your life purpose. Some of y'all really need to shake that whole what people going to say. A lot of y'all are healers. Some of y'all are empaths. Spirit is saying some of you all are mediums and you choose not to assist others in going into that particular path because of religion belief, uh, religious belief. You know, you, you're afraid of what people are going to say. Beyonce, everybody loves B. I'm Barty Gang, might I say. Okay, okay, okay. but people will backlash her too. People going to talk regardless. I remember when I first started my channel, folks laughed. What you going to do? What you going to do when that shit don't go nowhere? Uh -huh. Less than a year and almost 10,000 subscribes later. Uh -huh. Let's talk about it. That was my first try, and I ran from this for two years. And had I known that I would have such a huge family supporting, so much love from people, I would have never done this. I also had, I was, I was, um, uh, Raised in a Christian church. Do you understand? I sang there. Do you understand me? It ain't what they call you. It's what you answer to. Do you understand? Period. All right. I do see for those of you who feel like, well, how am I going to work this job as well as as well as start my business? I do see it's time to invest in your damn self. Make a plan. Plan it first. Don't move so impulsively. If you 
If you tried before and it did not work out for you, do not let failure deter you, but learn from your failures. Where did you go wrong? And learn from that. Get back up, dust them damn knees off, and let's move a little differently. Because this nap is about divine timing. And spirit needs you to move so they can assist you in moving. Whether this is a person, place, or thing, it does look to end successfully. If Leo chooses to use the proper discernment, put themselves first, only focus on things that is focused on them. If they ask, can't get right, Leo, they got to get left, period. And certain things are being eclipsed out of your life, whether you like it or not. Some of you all really need to focus on your health. Truly, truly focused on your health. And some of y'all, you're going to have to stop drinking. All right. Some of y'all may be receiving some type of information. I feel like some of y'all are having dreams that are you, where you keep. And I feel like some of y'all are having dreams that scaring the hell out of you for those of you who need to stop drinking. Because you're having dreams where possibly you're in the hospital. Maybe you're sick. You can't move you or you're in some type of par, uh, paralysis like state. And spirit is speaking to you. Now, I'm trying to give you the free will option, baby, to get your life. But if you do not let it fucking die, if you don't let it die, I'm going to shatter your damn world. I'm going to shatter it. All right. I do see an equal give and take in a new soulmate relationship, especially if this person um, is a, hold on, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This person could also be, um, Capricorn Taurus could also be a little bit of fire as well. Aries Leo Sag. But I do see open communication. I need to see. I see honest communications. But make sure that you're upfront about what it is that you want. No sugar coats. All right. No look. I'll, I'll no chases, baby. Straight shots. No chases. You understand? That's how Leo needs to handle their fucking everything. M moving forward, let this lunar eclipse assist you. And being authentic to your true self. Fuck who don't like it. Two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. You ain't going to be able to make everybody happy. But are you happy though? Don't go out with no woulda, coulda, shouldas. Spirit is speaking, baby. It's time to listen. All right? So that's what I got for my la 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 leos. All right? All right. So let's move on to Scott. Be up. All right. So the first message that we're going to get into for Scorpio is your Archangel message, which comes from Archangel Metatron, okay? Indigo and crystal children. You have a good bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive, all right? So, Scorpio, I definitely feel during this time, a lot of you guys may be attracting children. Some of you guys may also be definitely connecting with your inner child. Some of y'all could also um, be finding out that your children have um, some type of psychic, ab psychic ability or that you do have indigo children, all right, who are very sensitive, who do need that extra care, who do need that affection, okay? And for some of you all, you are also an indigo child. Some of you all are messiah seeds. Some of y'all have messiah seeds. Look it up. Um... But I definitely feel that for some of you all, you really this is a time for you guys to really, really be set up, really protect your energy as it is, as it is sensitive, as well as be willing to protect your inner child and heal that. OK. All right. So we're going to get into your intuitive message messages. All right. So Scorpio, I have for you all with this uh, post lunar eclipse energy. I have fear of change, vulnerability, movement, divorce, entrepreneur, career advancement. Come on, Scorpio. Acceptance, artist, creativity, healer, father, rejection, ancestral, manipulation, legacy, judgment. Fortune, fears, and forgiveness. All right. So this lunar eclipse may be bringing some people in, Scorpio. It, it's a time to receive. Okay, give as well as be willing to receive forgiveness. 
Um, I definitely feel that some of you all, the energy that I'm feeling is either communicating, okay, communicating with someone or receiving some form of communication that may leave you a bit iffy during this time, all right? I am feeling that some of you guys could definitely be um, addressing the issues when it comes to love matters, whether it's a family matter, okay, or family issues in the past, all right? But I feel like some of you guys have been suppressing things for quite some time and during this uh this post lunar eclipse or this lunar eclipse energy it's definitely a time to really revisit those vibrations to really 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 purge them once and for all okay so some of you guys could definitely be drinking too damn much and spirit is saying please move away from that because that is not the way to properly really dispose of that energy because it's only a damn it's only a, like a it's only a damn band-aid that shit gonna hurt again just put a little water on it let some more alcohol touch that's going to hurt again, all right? You got to truly, truly, truly clean that wound, clean that cut out. Really, really, really heal that wound, okay? For some of you all, um, some of y'all manifested possibly hearing back from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or some of you guys are starting to see your manifestations actually flourish. I am hearing rapid manifestations, so definitely watch your thoughts during this time, Scorpio. You guys are moving into a whole new cycle of your life, all right? A cycle that involves harmony, it involves serenity, it involves peace, but it definitely is going to come with some damn tests from people from your past coming back for forgiveness. For some of you all, you want to hear from some of these people. For some of them, you just really I just need you to call me so I know which fucking number to block, all right? Some of you know, y'all definitely could be um, um, hearing back or either communicating or hearing back possibly from... Um, some of y'all could feel caught up in a web or feel stuck or stagnant or trapped possibly by an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo due to some type of uh, financial ties, all right? But I definitely see spirit coming in to eclipse that relationship for some of you all because ultimately you really want harmony. You really want it to be an end to the craziness, all right? For some of you all, you're really putting them down ones down and really focusing on your new beginnings, focusing on your creative endeavors, focusing on your passions, focusing on your children, your family, your legacy, what it is that you're trying to build. I am hearing LLC. Some of y'all could also be going into businesses for yourself and focusing on your LLCs. Some of y'all are really going to open up and decide to be vulnerable and welcome and welcome yourselves to the damn light work community. Come on, we need you up in this thing. Some of you all who've been seeing these damn spiders, y'all, these spiders are symbolizing wealth and abundance. Do not kill the damn spiders, all right? Some of y'all could also have a telepathic connection to someone um, from your past. This could be someone who you have children with or who you've known um, since childhood. I definitely feel like for some of you all, there's going to be a time for honest communications, some of y'all are going to be researching your um, researching your ancestral ties and finding out some very interesting things as far as your bloodlines. And you're really going to be moving towards actually practicing. Maybe let's say if you had any, um, let's say you had Reiki, Reiki healers in your family or you had um, any type of shamanic roots. Okay, some of you guys may go into some form of the, some, some form of healing. All right. Some of you guys may also be having. During this time, some strong pulls to particular crystals, especially amethyst for some of you all, tourmalines, anything having to do with protections. Some of y'all could also be, uh, some of y'all could have put out some love spells. Scorpio, some of y'all guys, some of y'all either doing love spells or somebody is doing some type of love spells. So of y'all, for those of you who have been like continuously thinking about somebody, thinking about, thinking about, thinking about, thinking about somebody, um, <laughs> some of y'all think if somebody uh, put a spell on you because you, you, you continuously thinking about somebody, for some of y'all they did, but they, no worries, I feel like this person definitely is an amateur, it's not so much as a spell spirit is saying, it's their actual intention, this person got a strong ass belief, that person could definitely be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you guys are um, ending a cycle harmoniously uh, with a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I feel like you guys are going to be moving forward, like really focusing on like building a firm friendship first before there are any like major expectations as far as a relationship because somebody is moving away from a vibration of being controlling this fuck. That's the, the lunar tips going to help them. Lunar, look, that's going to help them eclipse that shit right on out their life. Because, no, they better get their life. Who does that? We're not going to deal with that in 2019. That's some 2018 and shit. We're not doing it. All right? So, some of you guys also, um, some of y'all could also be feeling like stuck to a job. 
or feeling as if you can't move or feeling as if some of y'all better be damn careful because for those of you who be saying, oh, I wish I could just leave this damn job and oh, I just wish I can't this up. Uh, you better watch what you, you better watch what the hell you wishing for. For some of y'all who can't stand that damn job or who feel stuck, oh, spirit hears you and they finna allow you to clear that up right on up and drop them damn ones, drop them burdens and something new, bam, is right going to be right in your damn face on the horizon. Congratulations. For those of you who've been waiting to hear from a new job, Okay, after possibly leaving something or, or possibly being let go, I do see that that looks very, very, very prosperous. This is a very prosperous time for Scorpio, but it's going to require you guys to have no fears of the unknown. I'll say that. And not try to control things, but to stand firm how stand firm with how you communicate. Mean what the fuck you say. All look all Straight shots, no chases. Straight shots, no chases, because when you fucking take them damn chases, they leave you feeling heavy, carrying all them damn ones. Just want to throw sticks at people, okay? So I definitely feel like for some of you all, one second. Some of y'all, watch who you telling your business to, especially when it comes to work relationships, because some of y'all dealing with telling y'all business to somebody during this time. You're going to find out this person's not your friend. And I feel like some of y'all may even have go through a situation with somebody at work where they try, especially if this person is the earth sign or this person could be um, fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. But I feel like somebody, watch who you tell your damn business to because somebody is literally waiting to throw your ass under the bus. And it has to do with that fear of, you know, everybody is always happy for you until they find out that you got mold in their ass. Then it's a problem. Then they can find every damn thing under the sun to have an issue with. Some of y'all really watch how you move and keep your little, don't let the left hand know what the right one, what the right hand is going to be doing up until we go into the month of February. But I definitely see harmonious times ahead, baby. All of the, the crazy shit is over, but you're going to have to leave some shit behind. And I definitely feel like for some of y'all, them damn ones and got so damn heavy that you just like, fuck it, I surrender. Some of y'all just really needing to surrender in order for you to get your wish, what it is that you're trying to manifest. For some of y'all, what you want wants you. Some of you guys want to rectify a situation, and that goes back to that communication. Some of you all also um, are really needing to heal. Or, some of y'all really need to talk to some form of a father figure. Some of y'all could be a father, but I definitely feel like there's going to be a breaking of ancestral ties, especially if you were in a situation where possibly there was an issue in the past with whomever you had a child with, with co-parenting, and it had to do with finances or either finances or it could have had to do with um really somebody somebody kind of being spiteful due to the fact that they wasn't chose. I feel like this person is undergoing some form of a transformation and divine 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 intervention is coming forward for my scorpions. But I definitely feel like you guys need to live positivity, speak positivity Live prosperity, speak prosperity because you guys are manifesting at a very fast rate. And don't kill them damn spiders. They're trying to tell you that abundance is right before you. It's just how you choose to view abundance. Gratitude is the attitude during this time, babies. But I do see things flourishing for you. I do see you guys walking away from stressful people, situations. A lot of you all really need to take time for rest and rejuvenation. Really respect your body. If the body says, I'm tired, Scorpio, let it rest. OK, I do see you guys getting out of your head and whatever situation with this earth sign or this could also be having to do um, with a Aquarian, um, Taurus, Leo or another Scorpio. I definitely feel like there is harmony coming to a situation for some of you all. You could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. And watch that damn fire sign, especially if you work with this person. This person has a way of. I feel like some of y'all got a fire sign at work that just want to be friends with every damn body, but this person really is not nobody's damn friend. You know that saying, keep your friends close and your enemies closer? Mm-hmm. 
have a high and by relationship with this motherfucker, but really pay attention to how how they handle your other coworkers. If you find that this person talks about that person and that person, but they be in their damn face, know that they're going to do the same thing to your ass if you give that snake the venom to bite you, honey. Think about it. But I do see great shit. For those of you who've been um, trying to manifest your business, for those of you who've been trying to um, move towards some type of project, some type of entrepreneurship, for those of you who've been wanting to know when is the right time to move towards um, light working or to move towards um, being a healer, now is the time, baby. Spirit is giving you that little push. Listen to your soul as it has something to say, baby. Okay? So let's rock. That is what I have for my scar, to be All right? So now we're getting into these drama fools. These bulls. La, 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 <laughs> Gang. <laughs> What's up, Taurus, baby? What's popping? All right. My Taurus. All right, Taurus. So we're going to start with your Archangel message. Your message comes from Archangel Raphael. It says, Angel Therapy. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Okay? So some of you guys during this time are going to be releasing, okay? Releasing that weight of the world that that's not your part, Taurus. It's not your part. It is not your part. What is your part is for you to trust the universe consistently, can be consistent with your evolution process, be true to yourselves, and truly, truly, truly view, I mean, do a true live self-reflection of what, what your values truly revolve around, okay? This is a time for introspection for my fools, all right? Funny, because your intuitive messages... For you all, I got prideful deaths, values, restructure, denial. You first embrace revelation, mask, mother, secret, envy, good fortune, commitment, surprise. Okay? So for you all, I definitely see during this time, Taurus, you guys need to truly trust your dreams. Dreams are trying to tell you something during this time. You have an all-knowing, okay? For some of you all, you could definitely be dealing with someone who isn't intuitive. And I feel like some of someone in your life, Taurus, during this time is going to be trying to assist you. And I feel like... Some of y'all could be dealing with um, a very intuitive person. This could be your mother. This could be um, your child's mother. You could be the intuitive person. But some of y'all could definitely be dealing with somebody who um, is very intuitive. And I feel like this person is trying to bring you some advice of how to like balance things out. This person is trying to this person is trying to assist you in. Feeling more confident about your stability during this time, Taurus. All right. Some of y'all are definitely going to be going through some form. Oh, you're moving away. For some of y'all, you're moving away from internal conflicts as well as moving away from holding your feelings inside because I feel like some of y'all totally feel misunderstood. Some of y'all could be leaving situations where you feel misunderstood. And I feel like, to be honest with you, this has nothing but spirit in the pudding. It was a balancing act for you to focus on your stability. Because for some of y'all, you've been so busy giving to everybody else, everybody else, everybody else. And then motherfuckers, is, motherfuckers move on when all the damn giving, when the giving ain't so damn good no more, they move on. And you're left feeling like this. I knew I shouldn't have done this. I knew. I knew. So during this time, Taurus is moving away from this. We're moving away. Some of you guys may literally be moving away for job opportunities. And I feel like intuitively you focusing on all the wrong aspects of what spirit is trying to assist you with. It's not what spirit is doing to you, but what is happening for you. Because what is happening for Taurus, all right? Is truths and revelations being revealed in order to bring balance to situations that is going to bring a total new, a total new. It's going to bring you independence. It's going to bring you that abundance. For some of y'all, it's going to bring you your true love that is for you. Divine intervention. Some of y'all could also be dreaming of alchemy symbols, all right? You're really needing to get a dream journal. Some of y'all during this time, your intuition is on fleek. 
Do I even say that shit anymore on fleek? <laughs> I be saying my eyelashes is on fleek. Because sometimes when I wake up, they be throwing up gang signs on the west side. <laughs> That's he neither here nor there. <laughs> All right. But some of you guys, <laughs> some of y'all, um, some of you guys could definitely be freeing yourself or you could possibly uh, be internally conflicted about moving forward towards a soulmate relationship. This could involve the sign of cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Someone doesn't, someone is moving towards independence, Taurus. Some of y'all during this time, shit could be e eclipsed out. And I do feel for some of y'all, this has to do a lot with a lot of you all with love. Because you're on the brink of new opportunities that's going to bring you that stability in which some of y'all could have been bickering and fighting and fussing about. But I feel like just straight up, Taurus, if you're moving away from a person right now, it's because that person wasn't meant to eat at your table. They were only in your life as a lesson to move you one step closer to your blessings. It's just how you choose to perceive to look at things, okay? But I definitely feel like a lot of you all are chasing your passions during this time. You really need to restructure how you look at relationships and duality. Because for some of you all during this time, Taurus, a lot of y'all, I really want to ask Taurus, my bulls, no, for real, for real, on some real shit. Like, what do you want? Because ultimately, I feel intuitively y'all already know what y'all want. But y'all moving toward these soulmate fucking relationships when ultimately ultimately, spirit is saying, let's be real with yourself, baby. Because this little pinnacle here, it's at a two. Meaning that some of y'all are starting from the bottom. Some of you guys are starting from the bottom and you really needed to be true to yourself and say, look here. I'm trying to be independent. I want to know that I can stand on my own two damn feet before I move towards love, before I move towards giving all these damn or, 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 or receiving these or accept, being accepting of these whole love offers. Yes, I may feel passionate about it, but some of you all who are in relationships, finances could definitely be an, uh, could definitely be a problem right now. And for some of you all, you're dealing with Gemini Libra Aquarius. Some of y'all dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of y'all dealing with water. Some of you guys are dealing with fire signs as well, I see here. But I definitely feel like some of y'all are dealing with someone who is grounded, who is very intuitive, and is someone who's been trying to move forward and work things out with you, Taurus, but you're internally conflicted because ultimately, let's just be real. Either you want your cake and eat it too, okay? For some of you all, you want to go into this new beginning. However, there's a need for you to be honest. If you want to live a damn polygamous life, I'm hearing polygamy, okay? So we're going to go there. If you want to live a polygamous lifestyle, let's be real about about that yeah you might take an L with somebody who not with the shits but you might not for those of you where finances is not an issue but fulfillment structure value the way that you do things have to change you cannot expect some shit differently if you're not willing to give if you're not willing to sacrifice that's something in you that needs to change. And for some of you all, I'm going to go ahead. You know, y'all don't don't pull your knife. But, you know, you know I'm married. So you can meet me in the, meet me in the yard at 3 o'clock. You understand? Because we family. So because I love you, I should be able to tell you this shit. But some of you all, you're selfish. Period. Point blank. And I feel like some of y'all are dealing with someone in your life. Who truly loves you. And this person could also be focusing on their independence. But I also feel like somebody is compromising here. Somebody is compromising here, Taurus. And it is breaking. And somebody is suffering in silence trying to move this relationship ahead. Because they put in so much work, so much time, so much effort. But both parties need to work on themselves. One party needs to work on the fact that one, one party is afraid to be alone. And the other one is afraid to be vulnerable. Because if I open up and be vulnerable with you, then I risk the opportunity of you leaving me alone and leaving me to have to face these damn demons by my damn self, even though I wasn't really willing to compromise with you. Where they do that at? Where they do that at? Something has to give. Something has to change here, bulls. And know that... Archangel Raphael lets you know, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. For some of you all, it's taking the whole damn relationship and putting it on, okay, we're going to put this on hold. 
We're going to put this on hold so that you can focus on this independence, focus on this stability. For some of you all, only thing that you know is relationships. So now that you're leaving relationships and things, unhealthy relationships are being eclipsed out. You're having to face those fears. It is okay to be alone. It only gives you an opportunity to know yourself, to get to know yourself. If only thing yourself knows is how to be living with another person and chaotic and chaos and disharmony and holding on to your emotions and really not really expressing to a person how you truly feel, when are you going to allow yourself some time to deal with that? Come on now, we got we, we to talk real. We can't expect real and loyalty. We can't expect some honest shit if we're not willing to give that. And towards if this is somebody in your energy, it's time to get get your get your fucking lines right, or your ass can get cut or left. I have no time for the bullshit. Some of you guys want to communicate to someone that you you want to be done with it. You're conflicted about the whole relationship shit all together. You want to focus on yourself. You don't really want to focus on the commitment because now you're really, truly, really getting to know yourself. I want to get to know that more aspects of that. And that is your individual path and that's your individual truth. And anybody who loves you has to love every aspect of you. My good, my bad, my ugly. Most importantly, my truths. But you got to give a person the opportunity to know that. To allow you to truly trust trust in the situation moving forward. And trust that it will flourish stability because you first, you first allow yourself to have a friendship. Be that person's friend. Get to know they're good, they're bad, they're ugly before you decide to jump in relationships with people. Because when you're jumping in with this expectation and people show you who you are and who you who they are and you already intuitively knowing, oh yeah, I'm going to be by myself, then why do you keep moving forward with the fucking shenanigans? When you can tell this person up front, look out, this don't work for me. This going to knock me off balance. But you care for whomever this is enough to care about the fact that you don't want to leave them alone. You don't want to be viewed as a failure. You don't want to, somebody don't want to be the bad guy. But whomever that person is, they also don't want to be in this damn relationship either. Somebody could want to be with someone else. And you and, 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 and this lunar eclipse is illuminating the fact that somebody settled. For some of y'all, it's about controlling the situation. Love is not control, but it's compromise. Love is not chaos. It's compassion. It's levels to this shit. Bulls. Straight shot, no chases. Some of you guys truly, truly need to get to yourselves. And really reflect and write down when you get to yourself, what really fucking matters to me? What is it that I truly want? Whatever whatever that pen take to that paper and you ain't got to think about it, your hands just, just let her rip. Get it off this there. Get Quit holding on to that. Spirit say, I want it now. I want it and I want it now. Because I'm trying to give you newness. I'm trying to give you independence. I'm trying to give you that, that peace of mind. I'm trying to give you that. But you got to give me all of that heaviness. I want that worry. I want that. Give, give, give me that hurt up off you. Let's go ahead and really clearly heal this wound. Trust the process. Change is good, baby. Take the mask off. And know that if you're having to travel and move forward and opportunities are preventing themselves, everybody can't go. Because this is your good fortune. It's time to put you first. And understand that envy does come with that. Everybody not going to be happy for you. But who was with you shooting in the gym, though? That is the question. All right? So this is what I have for... 
my fixed energies. My Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. If you guys need a personal reading, again, I'm only doing emergency readings. That information will be in the description. After February the 5th, um, the prices will resume back to normal. But while I'm on break, y'all know if I'm interrupting my break, you know, <laughs> I can't interrupt my break, you know, just just on the willy-nilly. I can't do it, y'all. I don't, I don't really get the break that often, right? This is my first break in the whole damn year, all right? So, if you need a reading, though, hit me up, y'all. Y'all know I'll be talking shit, but tough. this heart is so big. Child, just hit me up. But I love y'all, and I, I wish you all nothing but love. Send you nothing but blessings. Much love, much like y'all. Purge. Purge. Take care of yourselves. Eat properly. Get enough sleep, y'all. Trust your dreams. And most importantly, trust yourself. Yourself ain't led you wrong this damn long. Trust yourself. People lie, not spirit. Remember that. All right? Namaste. Love y'all.